You know, I was talking to my uh, writers earlier, and I was telling them on, on my first talk show, Charlemagne and Friends, that was on MTV2, you was a panelist on there. Yes, I was. And nobody knew who you were, but they know now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's... That was like a decade ago. Dude, that's big for you. Like, they still giving you shows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gonna leave me hanging? I don't even want to dap you up now, bro. <laughs> now, uh, I said that y'all thinking it is the new special. You filmed it in Chicago. Mm -hmm. what, what was it? Ain't nobody from Chicago in here. Okay. Hey! Chicago everywhere. What was it like for you to go back home and shoot that special? It was, it was surreal uh, to, like... You know, sell out the Chicago theater. There was a line around the corner. My uncle called me like, I ain't know you just famous doc. You know, he a preacher, so he called everybody doc. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just, it was just surreal. I had crucial conflict op open the show. Mm -hmm. The crowd didn't know that was going to happen. And man, it was special. It was one of the, my favorite days mm -hmm. of my life. T tell me your mindset when you did the special. Cause I saw the special. Mm -hmm. I liked it a lot. But you talked a lot about current events that happened this year. Yeah. You know, like versus what else? It was something else. It was the, the, the slap. The slap. The slap. Yeah. And, and, and I'm like, <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, right, you could have said that on a podcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what makes a special a special? Because to me, it's when somebody talks about their personal life. What you did, you yeah. definitely did. So what makes a special a special now? Well, well, that's something, too, I wanted to kind of show. Once again, you said I could talk about it on a podcast, mm -hmm. but the, the gift of stand-up is always making these topics funny. And I think a lot of times with comedy, especially more recently, they get on these topics and it just sounds like a TED talk. Mm -hmm. So my thing was, I wanted to prove everybody I can make anything funny and make you comfortable laughing at it. Mm -hmm. But when you're doing your stand-up nowadays, you know, when you're crafting it, how do you stay away from just doing trending topics? Because trending topics can get old. Yeah. Well, we just happen to have, like, the crate, like, versus is very significant now, right? Yeah, That's yeah, something yeah. we've been, like, sitting in for the last few years is yeah. watching those verses, right? And so even with just, like, with the, the Oscar slap, I don't, I mean, you know... That shit ain't getting old. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so, like, it was just, I honestly, and I, I didn't overthink it neither, to be honest with you. I just kind of just went and did the set. I didn't even write anything. I literally went on stage and just talked. Now, have you heard from uh, Chris Rock? Because you kind of said he deserved it a little bit. I said, I didn't, no, I didn't. You kind of said he deserved it a what little I, bit. What I said was, Will shouldn't have hit Chris. I said that. Yeah. And then I said, I get it. I get it, yeah. But that's the... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I said it on the special, so I, I I'm not taking nothing back. But it was only thing I thought was crazy is that I, I just never saw, like I just know nobody walking up on me. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, I didn't yeah. ask that, and I'm not yeah, yeah. squaring up. Like if I yeah. know you ain't supposed to be walking up on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna be like okay. Yeah. Uh -oh. You know, it's like that's just. <laughs> I just thought it was. Weird. I'm just being that. Cause I thought to myself, well, what did Chris do to Ralph? He didn't do nothing to me. Yeah. It's comedy. Yeah. Cause you said I get it. Like. I know, but if you can make a G.I. Jane joke about somebody's bald head, you should be able to take a joke from another comic. True indeed. True indeed. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> in, in the special, too, you talk about therapy and processing the loss of your mom. Yeah. No condolences. You know, uh, the bit is funny, but also very personal. And you said yeah. your therapist made you answer the question, which was a harsh question. Did the wrong parent die? Yeah, she actually said, do you think the wrong parent died? And it was, it was the way I acted out in the special was really the emotional of the conversation. And it wasn't that, you know, I hate my dad. My dad is amazing. You know, mm -hmm. both my parents stayed together the whole time. But then you do go through this thing with like, you know, your my mom was just really tight with me. So I just missed her reaping the benefits of all this. And that's what that therapy session was about. Yeah. My, my therapist showed me, uh, let me know it's okay to keep, to be grieving. Like, it's okay. I think I was always trying to mash it down and not think about it mm -hmm. and just move on from her dying, but she opened up that that um, <laughs> that Pandora's box, and a cool thing about it is I've gotten so many messages, especially from black men, mm -hmm. about being open and thanking me for being open about going to therapy because mm -hmm. that's what I am now to my friends. Every time they start venting me, I'm like, go to therapy. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I, I talked to some comics about therapy, and they actually say they don't want to go to therapy because they don't want to be healed because that trauma they feel is what gives them their edge. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I think that's crazy. I really, you know, the whole laughing my pain thing, the tears of a clown. I'm glad you said that. that. My special, and I saw somebody write about my special, and I thought it was really dope. And it's not what I intended to do, but it's like he seemed really happy. Like you can be funny and happy. You can be funny and not be mean. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it's cool to do things from a happy place. I'm happy. I don't want to force sadness. My life is great. 
I'm alive, you know, and I'm blessed. So, like, why not brag about that? I told you that earlier. I said, when I when I see you, like, on social media or just out, I'm like, that is a brother who really appreciates his blessings. He really appreciates the position that he's in. I mean, we had it, like, at the end of the special, and at first I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it in there, but when I, I didn't close with a joke, I just stood there and just literally took in the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, every time I've had those type of moments, and I know, I, you know, I want people like, oh, he goes, it's emotional, but... In that moment, literally, as I was trying to talk, I, I saw my mom standing there. Wow. While this crowd was standing there. Wow. Stand up, and wow. I just took it in. And it's mm -hmm. like, I think sometimes we just we just focus on the grind so much. Take time to take in what you blessed with. Enjoy the moment. You know yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the moment.